Hi you guys, thanks again for clicking that button to view this video. As you guys can see by the title, this is going to be my five top houseware products that I feel you should purchase at the Dollar Tree. Um, the Dollar Tree is an awesome store. If you haven't heard about it or been in it, trust me, you've been under a rock somewhere. You are truly missing out. I decided to do this video just to show my views and thoughts on things that I purchased um, over and over and over at the Dollar Tree. Um, when I go in there multiple times throughout a week or a month, I do pick up these items every single time. So I just want to give you guys my thoughts on what I picked up, so stay tuned. Okay, the first thing I want to share with you guys here is this scrub brush. As you guys can see, uh, we I use this to wash dishes. You can use it to clean your bathrooms. Um, clean around your house if you need to get something out. I use this outside on patio furniture when I'm cleaning. So I'm constantly using this. And you can buy several in a pack for a dollar. So it, it really does help, you know. And I stay using these as opposed to a towel when I wash my dishes because I like the, the scrub part and then I like the spongy part as well. Um, it's like I said, it's great for the bathroom, the kitchen, um, your room, your patio, outside furniture. I mean, you just multiple things you can do with this thing as far as cleaning. Um, and it's just a repurchase for me, you guys. I cannot get enough of buying these scrub pads at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just a must, you know, especially when you're doing a lot of cleaning. And by me being a stay-at-home mom, y'all, that's all I do is clean, okay? <laughs> That's all I do is clean, so I'm constantly buying these things. And I do pick them up at Walmart, too, from time to time. If I'm in there, um, Walmart is a one-stop shop. And a lot of times you can find these things in there also for a dollar. So I will recommend these scrub brushes, my first item. Second houseware whole item um, that I will recommend is a scrub brush. Um, as you guys can see here, uh, this one uh, detailing just came out, I think, um, around a couple of months ago. I had purchased the blue one. Somehow it got transferred into my bathroom bucket. So it's there. It's going to stay there. So I had to repurchase another one. But I love this to scrub when stuff is sticking on the pots. Um, a lot of times when I make eggs for the little one in the morning, you know how eggs can stick to your pot, so I love to get in there and scrub with that and different things, you guys. You can't go wrong with them. And then you got to throw them out, I would say within a month, because they have the tendency to spread out. And then all the food and bacteria can uh, stay in the brush um, bristles. So you have to throw those out. So it's a constant thing of re purchasing this so that's why I recommend go to the Dollar Tree where it's only a dollar um, you can toss and go you know as you see fit um, I go from back and forth from these two so yeah I do recommend these scrub brushes they they're not cheap you know it's not cheap they're cheap but they're not cheaply made um, they do last and they do get the job done and then on top of that they have all different pretty colors you know we, us women, we got to have all the pinks and blues and purples and greens and yellow. You know how it is. We just love to accessorize anywhere we can. So, um, these are cute. As opposed to if you go into Target and um, Walmart, sometimes you can find these things for like $3. And ain't nobody got time for that, especially when I got to toss it out at the end of the month, okay? No, ma'am. So, yes, this is the second thing that I recommend that you buy at the Dollar Tree. Third thing. I recommend these gloves oh my goodness I have this is my pair for in the kitchen right now I have some in the bathroom I, ha I keep a pair for like out on my patio when I'm cleaning out there sometimes um, and they're only a dollar you can find them several in a pack for a dollar these are the um, Brillo ones I believe it is and these are heavy-duty heavy duty you know um you just can't go wrong with a pair of gloves and with me i do a lot of uh washing my dishes in the sink as opposed to the dishwasher i have to use these because i like hot water scolding hot water so that's why i use gloves and it protects my hands from drying out so much 
um as you get older honey your body just changed okay <laughs> you can't do what you used to do no more i used to use palm olive and being a kid people like oh your hair is so soft child please i gotta child please i gotta protect them now so i do recommend these uh rubber gloves and they're good for cleaning the bathroom especially when you get down especially when you got to get down into that grind behind the toilet you know even though they're my kids I don't want to touch nobody piss, okay? Well, ain't nobody got time for that. That's just nasty and it's disgusting, so it's best to protect yourself. Sometimes I feel like they should have a... Oh, look. I'm, I need to patent this. <laughs> um, a glove bodysuit when you go in there cleaning behind the toilet. Like, that's just a disgusting place to, to me to clean. So, yeah. And to all of you guys that have boys in your house, oh, Lord. <laughs> It's majority girls in my house, so, ooh, yes, I, I pray for y'all, I pray for y'all. But this is the third thing that I recommend is rubber gloves, because you use them all the time, you use them everywhere, and once they get old, you can toss them and go. But these last me, the Brilla ones from the Dollar Tree, and one come in a pack, I believe. Uh, it might be two, I can't remember. But these last me for a long time. They are like i said heavy duty they're durable they really do last i don't get no holes in them everything also you can find the little the clear ones the clear plastic for like i would use those for like food and i said the next time i go in there i'm gonna pick it up because when i make my meatloaf and things like that like i had to take my nails off you guys because for one, I was getting like a little gangrene under there, so I had to take my um, acrylic nails off. And then on top of that, when you're preparing food, my opinion, okay, I just don't like all that stuff getting in my nails. Oh, it just irritates. I will pick and pick and pick and pick and pick at it like nobody's business. I just can't stand it, so I had to take my nails off. But I, I need to go in there and get the plastic clear uh, latex gloves for like preparing food, you know, to help my hands. So that's another thing. The fourth thing I love from the Dollar Tree I like to purchase is these uh, scrub bubbies. The quick erasers. Y'all, these are just like the magic erasers. I would, like I told you guys in a previous video, I bought the pack from Walmart and I think it was like seven, eight bucks. Don't quote me on it. I can't remember. But baby, I decided to try these ones. I clean in my shower all the time and I love using these especially in the shower and around the house my um, walls and doors and things like that um, it does take the paint off so you got to kind of be a little bit um, aware of that but far as your bathroom getting the dirt and the soap and scrum this crap works and you get two in a pack for a dollar two in a pack so this lasts me a good while you know Maybe about two weeks for the um, two of them. And I love using these. If I haven't told y'all, especially because I transferred the little one out, her little um, inflatable tub, to the regular tub in the bathroom. And I go in there and I clean with this every time I put her in a tub. That way I don't have to use chemical and just rinse it down with hot water. And that's it. So I love these things. I recommend them. If you guys haven't picked them up or if you don't know about them, trust me, go pick them up because they do work. The last thing I want to share with you guys, and I found this out from another mother here on YouTube. I can't remember her name, but she hauled this maybe about a month ago. And she had showed this screen protector that you put over your pot, like when you're frying stuff and the grease won't pop back. If you're frying bacon, I haven't found catfish since I've been in Arizona. And I've been living in Arizona, I think like nine years now. And when she told me this, I ran to the Dollar Tree to see if mine's had one, and they did. I think it might have been two, or this was the last one, or was something like that. But this works because my little one has a tendency, like most little kids, as soon as you get in the kitchen, they want to be in there with you. So this helped a lot from that grease uh, kicking back on me, or you know, hitting a baby and burning her. I didn't have no problem with this, you guys. Oh, I recommend this. Um, it's a little bit flimsy. But it gets the job done, you know, if you guys can see. Or maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. 
but this is my first time using it so i hope it lasts for a long time i hope i can get my hundred pennies worth okay <laughs> i'm just saying but if not it's only a dollar you can't beat it okay i will pick up another one um so if you catch these at the dollar tree pick them up especially if you're doing a lot of frying things you know just to protect yourself the little ones your dog pets or whomever because my little dog sometimes try to truck in the kitchen too especially when i'm cooking and i have to get the shoe and tell her you better get your butt out of here because she knows she ain't supposed to be in the kitchen while i'm cooking but uh yes i do recommend this little uh splatter oil protector so that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up yes a big thumbs up go ahead and click that button don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye